Hi guys. hey lovelies welcome back to my channel so today we're making a trip down to downtown winnipeg and we're going to be um, boarding a bus yes we are, we are going to be using the local bus transit system so if you're in nigeria and you enter brt it's just like the brt where you have to tap in with your card you know so you have a preloaded card and then you just tap in um and then you have access to the bus on this bus you are not even allowed to pay with um are not allowed to pay with currency or rather with, with cash so you have to tap in with your card so it was a jolly and uh, quiet ride of course and because it had a whole lot of stuff so what i observe is that uh, if you're going through a bus and you decide to drive you're going to take a longer time to go through the bus go downtown with the bus because it's going to pass through a longer road it has to go through most of the bus stops and then um people have to highlight along the road so another thing i observed about the downtown winnipeg is that this is like the urban core area of winnipeg this is where most of the offices the high-rise buildings you see the tall tall buildings here compared to the south area this is because most of the offices even most of the government offices are located in downtown winnipeg so you observe that there's a whole lot of construction going on here yes we observed a whole lot of both road construction building um construction high-rise buildings and so much more that is going on on this side of the town but guess what guys despite the fact that all of these constructions were going out it was so organized and structured such that it did not cause any form of traffic or any form of um you know obstruction to people that are passing by can you see those buildings look at how beautiful it is as a matter of fact when i came to downtown i so much loved it like it was so bubbly this is where you have most of the concerts shows um the poker she poker club is it poker club <laughs> you get what i mean i mean this is the happening part of town yes this is the happening part of town it is like the high bro uh, um, area where you have a lot happening but at the same time the disadvantage of it is that the perk of it is that this is most dangerous part of the city yes it is dangerous at night there's uh, most of the crime that happens in the city happens in downtown winnipeg so that's why you observe that um, you usually have people advise that you shouldn't live in downtown winnipeg or you shouldn't live in the north this is because there's a whole lot of crimes or um a lot of a whole lot of crimes are associated with downtown winnipeg so just enjoy with me as a go to our venue for the fair which is the harbc convention center enjoy like subscribe of course drop a comment in the comment section thank you guys bye downtown Winnipeg um, which is like 45 minutes away from where we stay which is South Winnipeg so this is like north well this is downtown so we're here for Winnipeg fair a job fair and training uh, so as you could tell we had to take the bus for the first time and uh, it was a pretty enlightening situation right there one thing i've noticed the one thing i've learned today is that you need to master the hack of google maps or rather you need to master how to use your maps which i think i need to sit down and observe that i'm going to be doing that on my own so we're here 
and the training is supposed to hold from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we already alighted from our buses and we're just walking down to the um, building of the training. So come with me for my very first um, fair training. Um, so what, what is it doing? Or should I say official or more formal events in Canada? This is like a week, uh, two days after. So let's go, guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kemi. I'm a Nigerian currently living in Winnipeg, Canada. And I'll be sharing about my life in Canada, food, health, nutrition, and so much more. So subscribe, like, turn on post notifications and drop a comment <laughs> crossing the road now <laughs> So here we are at the job fair. The job fair featured different employers and different um, companies who had maybe um, open openings or vacancies in their um, organization. As you can see from that leaflet that showed the current opportunities. So if you're someone who is interested in um, the listed opportunities, you could apply right there and they would schedule you for um, an interview. I also observed that you had um, employers or companies from different sectors, from the manufacturing, from um, healthcare, you had from hospitality, just depending on your field. Even um, we had people also from the force or from the, is it called army or the police force? Yes. So it just depends on your interest and what you would like to do or if the openings um, speaks to you or if it's something you'd like to do. So um, it was just a good opportunity for newcomers like us or um, people who do not have a job or who are currently unemployed to just, you know, look for opportunities of what they could tap into.
sure if they can hear me now, but we are done with the career fair. Let me say, so we are at the bus stop waiting for the next available bus. Hi guys, uh, finally we're back from the Winnipeg uh, job fair. Of course, I showed you at the bus station and then we're back home right now. Um, so for me, it was a really um, high opening and um, important event. I'm glad I came. I was able to get a couple of cards, you know, and a couple of um, emails that I'm supposed to send today, at least at the end of today, today, and I'm supposed to send like three emails to three different organizations or th three different recruiters, you know, and I'm hopeful, fingers are crossed, that um, something positive will come out of it. It was really interesting. I enjoyed it. Um, and of course, I got a whole lot of souvenirs. My husband saw it and said, ah, what happened? Go mugs. You know, this was, they were just there on the table and then you could just ask if you want and then you get it, you know. So, uh, it was a good outing. I liked it. I liked the bus system. It was organized. You have to tap in. If you miss your bus, you miss it. So, um, like I said before, everything is infused into Google Maps. You just open your Google Maps if you're going somewhere and then you select the location, you select the bus. Depending on the card or depending on the ticket you already bought, select your boss. It tells you how many minutes it's going to get there. If you miss it by one minute, if the boss doesn't wait, once the boss gets there and you're not there, it's gone, you know. You know, it's like high hope now for me. I enjoyed it at least a day out. I went out with cardigan, but at the end of the day, I ended up not using it. I thought it was going to be cold, but I guess I'm wearing a sleeveless and I'm not cold. You know, it's hot, so beautiful summer um so that's it guys that's the update thank you thank you for watching please of course like um drop a comment i would like to hear from you turn on post notifications subscribe if you're yet to and i will see you in the next bye guys so yes i have another one again on friday so this one now is for newcomers um it's also a fair so for newcomers old in already scene so i'll definitely show you when i'm there bye guys guys take a look at all the things that i got from the fair so the thing is that all these things were there on the table and you just have to ask ask and you should receive you know when i go home and i brought it out they were just laughing ah, ah. not only you waka come yes so not only we waka come they were there it's for you to ask they were actually there for them to for um people who came for the fair to to pick like they were souvenirs so why leave it or why allow them to go back home with it but please me that i'm trying to set up a house and i saw his little mug i saw a mug ah, please why won't i take it i also got a meeting guys guess what i got a meeting so i'm prepared for is it four yeah i'm prepared for four even though it's not really the really thick one but at least it's going to do something i got candies of course candy chocolates for the kids i had a writing pad lots of pen so please i'm like those um Nigerian women, you know, those women I will go to home and be, I will come back home with uh, with food, with jollof rice. So this one, even though it's not one bear, but at least I went out and I came back home with something. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Welcome back to my channel so it's a new day it is friday and today we are at um, another fair it's called the canadian immigrant fair can you see that yes and um, so it's an opportunity for newcomers to canada to get to know about the um, work culture um, cv building um, interview how to prepare for it it's just basically how to settle properly especially when it comes to making money when it comes to um, employment and job offers so um 
you know, as you can see from the previous clip, um, clips that um, we already attended one two days ago, and so now this is another one. And the good thing about all of this is that these job fairs are like at no cost to you. As a matter of fact, these um, these employers or these companies that are um, exhibiting at these fairs are offering these services totally free of charge that is they've been paid by the government so that means that when the government when the government of canada allows you when they give you a visa when they give you the opportunity to come into the country they don't just leave you hanging or floating that way there are services they've set up services that helps you to settle as a um, as an immigrant or as a student whatever the case may be or as a permanent resident so there are services or rather there are yeah services that helps you to settle in to get a job to get the housing to get the community to live in and so much more even for your children if you are someone who has children so as a matter of fact some of these services even offer paid trainings that is they are training you in a field that you've chosen and then they still pay you for that even some offer accommodation opportunities also some offer you bus fare or bus tickets to come to this location that is let's say for example you decided to sign up with one of these services one of these organizations that has been paid by the government to offer these services so they also receive kind of grants so i believe that it's on a um a base of so let's say they settle five people for example they get paid according to the number of people that they settled that kind of thing so my point is that let's say you you decide to sign up with one of the service sign up with social so service so they are going to train you they're going to build your resume they are going to uh, prepare you for interviews if i even build your computer skills and at the end of the day link you with an employer so you can see what i'm saying and by the way while you're going through the services while you're going through the trainings while you're you know i'm um, going through these sessions the resume sessions they are also paying your bus ticket some of them pay your bus ticket some of them even offer you jobs that gives you accommodation so my point in all of this is that you um they help you to settle in really well and then um, you're just not left hanging um so it's a good thing um we're here That's it. So just watch as I take you around um, the exhibition fair and um, see some of the um, um, people that are here to exhibit. So enjoy and um, thank you for watching. Bye. to actually like really go to school here when I was in high school and go to university and study and connect well with people and my message for the immigrants for sure is to never be afraid to speak up communicate and to always ask questions and to co connect with your local community and meet other people of different backgrounds of different culture of a different language and I think um, for me what I've been learning as an accent modification instructor is to not get rid of the accent it's just boosting your confidence it's just about um, practicing certain words that you're having a hard time with and eventually as you keep practicing you're actually going to get better and your english will just kind of naturally 
be like understandable or yeah as long as you're understandable that's what's important yeah thank yeah. you Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank really you. Really like yeah. yeah. to be able to continue to do the same thing that I was doing back home. It's not exactly the same for everyone. Sometimes people move and they want to pivot into a new career. And sometimes people move and they still want to do the same thing. So the conversation we'll have today is around, you know, how you can interview well, how you can search for jobs properly and have a better chance of landing those jobs. One place that I went to was Manitoba Star. And you've probably heard that before. Right, so I was in Manitoba Star and then I did an entry program. So what that helped me to achieve was, you may have heard a lot about Canadian work experience and what that resume is like being in Canada and how to prepare a resume that works for the Canadian marketplace or the job space here. So this really helped me, you know, connecting with those new former services and seeing how I could tweak my resume, what worked, how does the, the workplace apply here and what, what are the differences between what I had back home and what applies in this space. Another thing is, even before I moved here, right, like I had the privilege to start a program, it's called SOPA. And I did that program in Nigeria about two months before moving and they were helping me with working in Canada finding jobs in Canada. So very similar to what the newcomer services on ground do. So if you could not do that back home, this is one thing I would recommend. They pair you with a career, sort of like a career coach, right? So they go over your resumes, <clears throat> they go over your resumes, they look at what kind of jobs may fit when you walk in here. All the advice, like take, it, take the advice that works for you. That's what I would say, right? So know what you wanna get out of those services and take the advices that apply to you. Every advice is not the same for each individual, right? Some people come here, they want to pivot from, they may have been doing marketing back home and they want to come in here and do customer service. Someone else like myself may have been in project management and they want to continue in the same line or something very similar, like could be business analysis or something in those lines, right? So as you continue to hear a lot of advices, try to apply it to your own situation, but be willing to learn because some of the things that we've learned back may not necessarily be the same in this um, in this space or in this scenario. So be willing to learn new things, be willing to relearn some of the things that you were familiar with.